my project involves a drone simulation simulating drone over a 3d world and capturing images over that and forming a stitched image and using that to compare the old satellite image and the current captured image to find whether there is any change in the road destruction. Let's begin with starting the Django web development server. It loads our WebGIS dashboard on it. And here we can change whether the OSM or the Google satellite image which we want. Here is the help user guide. Then we enter here a location to go to that location. And now we are back. Now we'll be ROS launching that is starting a gazebo world where our 3D world is present. And this is the camera view of the drone the camera view this is the obstruction it's it is observed from the camera of the drone now we have clicked on drone position map to check the position of drone it will be displayed on webgis server we can see as the drone moves it will be moving okay see you can see here the images are saved locally so now we will be clicking on update map to get uh, to find the mosaic that is uh, been created from the images which have been clicked and now here we will see that change the obstruction was here in the gazebo world and it has been successfully updated here now we can click on show mosaic button to check whether the change has occurred so this is the final image which has been found here was the obstruction and it has successfully detected it and now we'll be placing two markers that is the initial that is the starting position here and the final end position so if there wouldn't have been any obstruction it would have taken this part but since there is an obstruction therefore it is taking this part GIS is not a very popular subject uh, when it comes to the libraries associated with uh, that, like GDAL or OGR. So these libraries do not have a detailed uh, documentation or tutorials available on popular uh, learning platforms like YouTube or Coursera and all. So you have to research a lot. You have to look at the official documentation of these of these things uh, involved while working with the GIS. So you have to look at the companies which are providing those uh, libraries, the associated uh, conferences which have been uh, organized throughout the world. You have to look, at, look into their papers and all. We had clicked the drone images of the arena which we constructed in Gazebo. And uh, the major problem was to stitch those images together, to make a mosaic of those images in any direction possible. Like the drone can move forward, backward, right, left. So many of the solutions available online, they focused on uh, making the mosaic in only a single direction, like forward, backward or left, right. And But we wanted to make a mosaic in any of the possible directions. Slightly modifying the algorithm of stitching, like the stitching algorithm used to be uh, deals with the source, uh, warping the source image and padding the destination image. Like you have a source image and you have a destination image and then you combine them together to make a mosaic image which will add further images together. So most of the algorithms which are available on the internet, they uh, focus on just uh, simply warping the source image and then padding the destination image. But you have to keep in mind that you should uh, pad the destination image in such a way that if you add a source image onto that, then the uh, earlier images do not get cropped off. This problem arises only when uh, you test with the various test cases. Our uh, web server was hosted in the Django framework. So uh, transmitting data from the ROS, that is the drone is flying in the virtual world. And we have to transmit the ex actual uh, real-time coordinates of the drone to that Django server. So that was a problem which we, have, we, we were facing. And then we figured out that uh, SQLite database would work fine. Like we, uh, how we solved the problem was like we made a uh, shuttle JSON file which would contain the data and then the data would change with time. And uh, the ROS uh, PI script would publish the data in the JSON file and uh, continuously save it in the database. And then the uh, Django server will continuously fetch the data from that database and then display it on the web server. Every time we uh, thought to uh, implement a step, then always we found a problem. And then we had to search for that solution and then we found some other problem. So you will always found a uh, find a series of problems with you. And, but you have to stay determined with yourself, you have to believe in yourself and then surely you will succeed. <laughs>